this memorandum of understanding, which will be signed today, seeks to support the enhancement of national social protection frameworks and systems to be prepared and to be able to respond in emergencies through disaster risk reduction strategies within regular social protection programs. Uh, it focuses, of course, on the protection of the most vulnerable aspects of society in terms of people. These, of course, include children, especially children with disabilities, who you would have heard I have you know, committed a large part of my life to serving and um, seeks to ensure the continuing access to social services for these most vulnerable persons. We all know that severe natural hazards affect millions of persons each year. We've just seen a video and nothing is more poignant than actual seeing the video more so than hearing the statistics and you see the disruption that hurricanes can cause in the space of a couple of hours totally wipe out the economy and destroy all the gains that you might have made in the last half century. Vulnerable groups such as the elderly and the disabled and children are more susceptible of course to these impacts since they have less coping capacity to resist and recover from them. In addition, they generally also have less ability to escape from the impending natural disasters. It can be no doubt that severe hazards are extremely traumatic for children in particular, since their mental, their physical and emotional abilities are not fully developed. Also, the ability to deal with the trauma of destruction and displacement, even death is limited. The latter eventuality will exacerbate the burden of the impact on them and ultimately influence their ability to cope. Children, however, though have great capacity and resilience, and sometimes it is the children that lead by example. We still have a situation here in Barbados where a lot of adults uh, are involved in illegal dumping in areas and gullies, etc., which even further uh, create, create problems for us in terms of disaster management.